We're going to kick off the show with the iconic Mount Airy Water Towers. They're a shiny example of what a community rescue can accomplish. We wanted to take a closer look at these towers, their history, and why they are so beloved in the community. Take a look. My name is Kevin Flynn. I've uh, lived in Mount Airy most of my life. I grew up on North Bend Road, house that my parents bought before I was born. And that house was actually within sight of the Mount Airy Water Tower. So I've grown up with the Mount Airy Water Towers. J.A. Hiller was the superintendent of the Cincinnati Water Works in 1926 and 1927 when the water towers were built. So this wasn't designed by an outside architect. This was actually designed by the person that was running the, the water department. He intentionally made them look like a castle to reflect the castle structure that was on Elsinore over by Eden Park because that had been a waterwork structure. The, the water towers sit on the highest point in Cincinnati, um, the highest naturally occurring spot in all of Hamilton County. And they're a focal point for our community just because they are so iconic. Mount Airy Town Council had had a meeting and Waterworks presented. The very next day, the emails and the calls started coming to me because the presentation that had been given by the Waterworks was that potentially the entire water towers would be torn down. I was upset, of course, when I first heard it, but I guess it's just the way my mind works. It went from that initial being upset to how do we fix this? One of the first things I did was I got a group of, of Mount Airy residents together and we were able to get a meeting with Mayor Cranley. <laughs> and as the mayor said, they're not going to tear down the castle. And I said, well, we should file for these to be preserved as a historic landmark. The mayor thought that was a good idea and what I needed to do was create a designation report explaining some of the history of the water towers and the significance and why they needed to be preserved. Not only is it a functioning water tank with a huge capacity, eight and a half million gallons of water is a lot of water. This was an example of good government in practice where you're building something utilitarian, but has a beauty and an aesthetic that transcends the time and, and the use that it's put to. I mean, it, it harkens to a time when people really took pride in their municipal facilities, and it wasn't just about function, it was, we're a community, this is where we live, we want something beautiful here. The Cincinnati Waterworks was so great to work with. Um, Kathy Bailey's the director now. Once she realized the importance to the community, she directed her architects and planners within the water department to come up with a way that we can preserve these towers. When the decision makers see a community come together, that means a lot but it means a lot to all of those decision makers. They wanna do what's right, and you just have to help them see why this is important. 